One thing I want to point out, this is actually before I even started the review. Great visibility out back when the seats are down. I feel like I'm driving a glass cube. So if visibility is something you worry about, this might be the van for you. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2006 Ford minivan. Up front is a 4.2 liter V6 and down below is a four speed automatic transmission. This video is sponsored by carmarshall.com. If you'd like to support the channel, click the link down in the description below. Carmarshall.com advertises for over 100,000 vehicles across the US. But let's get back to that 4.2 liter. Now, honestly, it makes the van kind of torquey. It's a very big V6. In terms of six cylinders go, I actually just got out of a 2.5 liter straight six, the Triumph review. And so this is a pretty big displacement. Honestly, roasting the tires in this thing, it's not that hard to do. And so with all of that torque, what you can actually do is you actually can have a family of six in here with a rooftop carrier with a golden retriever in the trunk, pulling a small trailer or boat or kayak. The 4.2 really makes this a very, very utilitarian, very usable vehicle. If it was just a dainty little four cylinder, I don't know if it could get the job done, but the 4.2 definitely can. We're up to temperature. I guess I'll do a mini pull for the 4.2 liter. Okay, follow me on this one. Ever so slightly, ever so slightly, so ever so slightly, at the top end, it sounded a little bit, just a, li just a little bit, like a four liter V8 from BMW in the M3. Just a little bit, don't get carried away with that. All right, so at the time of recording this, I must have had four liters on the mind. I went back and looked, and it doesn't sound like a four liter M3 BMW. However, I still hold on to that statement that it sounds like a BMW engine. So I have a clip of a 1995 BMW 325 IS that I reviewed, and then also, of course, the Freestar minivan that I'm reviewing currently, and I'm going to put the sound clips up. You be the judge. up towards the top sounded a little BMW-ish. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm not saying this is a BMW. I'm going to catch some serious crap for saying that, but it did sound like it a little bit. Now, like I said, Paradu, it is a four-speed automatic. If it were anything besides that, I would be questioning it, but it's a four-speed auto. It does the job. Last but not least, of course, the Freestar is front wheel drive. So let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I do have four gauges. On the far left is my tachometer. Then I have my coolant and fuel in the middle. And on the right, I have my speedometer, as well as my odometer in the middle. And then what gear I'm in down at the very bottom. It's very basic. This is a very, very mid 2000s Ford product. It's very obvious in here. A lot of this stuff is parts bin stuff like the steering wheel. The steering wheel does have cruise control on the left, but it actually does have volume, media, stuff like that on the right. The only thing I don't like about it, you kind of have to stretch your hand just a little bit to do volume and seek and stuff like that. It's not the most conveniently located, but that's okay. To the left, I do have my headlight switches and my dimmer switches for the gauges. And then on the door, I have my power mirrors, locks, and windows. Now, interestingly enough, I just noticed this. I looked over and there's only two window switches. This is before the era of openable van door windows. Some people might not remember. If you're younger than me, which I'm 22, most people don't remember that minivans did not have opening windows. That was not a thing until fairly recently. And so just look down and see only two window switches for this giant mobile. It's kind of interesting. In the center, I do actually get a very large storage bin up on the dash. Now, this is very characteristic of Ford from the mid 2000s. I'm gonna keep mentioning it. My friend Olivia actually has a Ford Freestyle, 
which is essentially the Taurus X, which was like their SUV of the mid 2000s if you didn't want the Explorer, and it has the same storage bin up front. Down below that I get two vents and then I get the radio. Again, a parts bin radio. You'll find this in a lot of 2000s Fords. Pretty basic. I do have actual call functionality and a CD player, which is really, really nice. Then I do have climate controls, which is pretty standard. I do have rear climate controls, obviously. Dual climate zones, which is definitely a nice feature. But to the right of the CD player, there is a button that says vent. And at first looking at this, I was like, oh, that's nice, you can change the vents up here, the climate control vents. That is not the case, that's not what that does. Actually, it has a power vent for the rear windows. You can actually vent them out a little bit to get a little bit more airflow. That's a really nice feature. But then on the center console, I do have slide out cup holders, two 12 volt outlets, and that's pretty much it. This isn't a very loaded minivan, but for 2006, it's not doing bad. The seats are nice and comfortable. Everything in here is tan. We'll talk about that in a second. Everything in here is tan. The seats are decently comfortable. Everything is tan, but the seats are pretty comfortable. Although everything is tan, the seats are not bad. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2006 Ford Freestar minivan, and I don't really have a place to put the GoPro. So up here we do have, let's see if we can get a good shot of that. Nope, it's too dark. Well, that's climate controls. Um, we do have lights, little grab handles, interestingly enough, grab handles on the front in case you're really going to give your kids one heck of a ride. Now, the seats, there normally is a third row. However, uh, this is actually used as like a work van and hauling stuff and electrical equipment and stuff. Um, so the rear seats were removed, so I can't actually do a rear seat review all the way back there. But these are non-power doors, so you got to really muscle it. Obviously, like I mentioned, these windows don't open. Very, very basic back here. This is where it really becomes obvious that more modern minivans have made so many advancements. Roll down windows, you know, middle row heated seats, power doors. I mean, this, if you're a kid, like it's even a little bit of a struggle for me to open it sometimes. If you're a little child, it's gonna be tough. And so now modern ones, they just have a button and it opens. This is actually the, you know, it's the grunt ones. So if you do have little kids, you might want to try to look for a minivan with electric sliding doors, unless you're just totally cool with opening the doors for them all the time. But I also just noticed I failed to mention this on my upfront review. Handbrake. Overall, like I mentioned earlier, everything in here is beige tan. There's this fake wood grain that goes on the the front here and then around the radio as well. This is the beige mobile. This is the beige bomber, I'm gonna call this thing because as we'll talk about with the exterior, everything in here is tan, beige. Ugh. I'm not a big fan, but then again, I feel like tan holds up better than black. Black, I feel like it's very easily scratched. Gray doesn't age super well, it's very 90s. And so, you know what, tan now, 13 years later, I guess it ain't that bad. But let's talk about the outside. It's a minivan. If you expect it to look cool, there is something wrong with you. It's okay, but like I mentioned, this is the beige bomber. It, it, it's so much tan. If I were going to spec a tan interior, I would not spec a tan exterior, but whatever. I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it looks great. I think it is a decently average looking minivan. It's not knocking my socks off. It's not making me cry, if that makes sense. It is what it is. It's a very mid-2000s minivan. Overall, I have to say I am pretty happy with the Freestar. It's a minivan from 2006. My expectations were not sky high. But then again, it does everything I really want a minivan to do. It's actually pretty comfortable. It rides decently nice. And actually driving it, I don't feel like I'm driving a harsh minivan just kind of feels like I'm driving another car. And that's what I really like because these vans are made for the average person and the average person is used to driving average cars. So it doesn't feel different. It's not going to spook whoever gets behind the wheel. I don't really have too many complaints about this van besides the fact that it is a van and personally I would not like a van. Personally vans aren't my thing, but if you needed one and these are coming down in price a lot, you could pick these up for very, very cheap. Just take a look at your local Craigslist.
and you'll be shocked that these are not expensive at all. If you need to get people around here in 2019 on a budget, this might be the van for you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Ryan for letting me take out his minivan. It's not special, but it gives me a good snapshot of what vans were like in the mid 2000s. And honestly, we've come a long way. They've definitely more gone towards luxury in the last five or six years. This was just basic. This is exactly what you needed. It gave you 100% and nothing more. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. I, I, I,